Wow. Somebody. Hey folks, welcome to another VR video. Today we're checking out Dyschronia Chronos Alternate on the Quest 2. Hal, who I think is me, just said, what's happening? And I agree, this looks kind of uh, treacherous. Is Astro clothes being shelled from the outside? Why? I need to get to the bureau, okay? I think that's a whale. So I've played both Tokyo Kronos and Alt Deus. Uh, the two previous games here should teach me how to crouch, yeah. Press the thumbstick down to crouch, okay. Help. There is stuff falling all over the place here. It's like a robot searching there. Alright, so we're gonna hide. We're gonna wait until their camera turns the other way. And we're gonna run. I'm gonna make a break for the border here. These guys. Uh, Who's Noel? So, if we stay low. I think if we stay low, we're gonna stay out of the sight of these robots. It seems like so far. I don't know what Lily's asking us to do here because this is... Did I pick something up over here? Some items can be thrown. Okay, so let's take this. Throw it uh, over there. Give it another try. I want to give it another try. I don't know what, where they want me to throw it. Uh, okay. supposed to throw for that section? That's it. Okay. Now we're gonna run for Noel. Noel is very calm. I don't know why I... The dome protecting the city has been destroyed. This all feels like a bad dream. I don't know why I keep closing and opening my eyes. 
Hey, what's wrong? Hal. Hmm? Same old Hal. Falling asleep during your test. Seriously? Oh, I dreamt that? I dreamt the doom and gloom? This isn't all destroyed? Test. Still half asleep? You're in the middle of your final aptitude test, man. Anyway, I'm gonna see how everyone's doing in augmented dreaming. It's a supervisor's job to protect AD. The collective dream all the residents experience. So this was a collective dream? Once you're a supervisor, Hal, that's what you'll be doing on a daily basis. This is a job test? Here, this is your trainee badge. You'll be able to access AD with that. Ready? Let's go. Okay, let's go. You'll be able to access AD with that. Ready? All right, here we go. There's that whale. Looks like you can access AD just fine. Take a look around and see how the residents are doing while you're here. But where are they? See those glowing fish? Each of them represents a dreaming resident's consciousness. The human-shaped ones are conscious enough to speak to. So, that whale, uh, one of the kind of trademarks of augmented reality so far have been augmented reality glasses all have their own whales. Uh, so this augmented dreaming also has its own whale. I'm guessing you haven't talked to many ordinary humans since the experiment. Go on. I'll wait here, okay? So I'm supposed to find human-shaped characters instead of fish-shaped characters. Ah, oh, there's a human one. It is a beautiful night. Hmm. Alright, so we talked to one human. Looks like there's a bunch of them. Little kid human here. I don't know, do I have a power? I haven't learned that yet. We'll talk to this last one here. I'm assuming I'm going to wake up. How did it go? Nothing too intense, right? A supervisor's job is to get things under control when something goes wrong in AD. I heard they also used to investigate crimes back before AD was introduced. The city's totally protected by AD these days, so the crime rate is just 0.001%. That's a pretty decent crime rate. 0.001%. I bet when that whole thing caves in like my dream, uh, that's going to change. For the last 30 years, there hasn't even been any variant persecution here in the city. With the system protecting it, this place really is a dream world. Anyway, let's get your training started. It's time we did some counseling in AD. I'll give you a quick run through first, okay? Sure. We access Kairos, the medical nanomachines inside all the residents, using our tethering tools. The only people who aren't Kairos hosts are people like me, who are incompatible. And variants. The nanomachines just don't work right with you guys. Thanks to Kairos, the residents can take part in one collective idyllic dream. Okay, so... As a variant, I can't be part of their collective dream. But I'm part of their... I, I, I'm a little... I'm not following yet, Ash. You're going to have to explain this a little bit more to me. In the dream, residents share all their experiences. That's why it's impossible to commit crimes here in the city. I see. 
the system immediately removes residents who need attention to prevent mental contamination, which explains why some residents appear glitched out. Okay, time to start counseling. After this, you'll officially be a supervisor. I'll show you how it's done, so pay attention. What's going on? Oh, here we go. What the hell is going on? <sighs> Let's split up and see what deal is. That looks like a what crime. What on earth happened? Huh? Is someone there? There we go. That's a crime. The professor died. He was killed? We are in big trouble. The founder of the city just died. That was the founder of the city, uh oh. We gotta move quick. I'm gonna head to the club. Look, the training is over. Head back and wait for your results, okay? <sighs> I can't believe there is a murder here in the city. Guess the crime rate just went up, huh? You're... This is kind of cool. It's not as good as the opening credits for games like I Expect You to Die, uh, but it, it, it's, it's a cool intro sequence. It feels a little bit more flat, I think is, is my issue. It's still cool though. I do like that they started this out kind of with a stinger at the beginning. Um, most episodic television and things of that nature does that. I do want to point out, this is only the first episode of Dyspronia as well. There are going to be multiple episodes for this one. So we're heading for the infirmary. It looks like, like my results are ready. 
Notification, Special Supervisor Aptitude Test Results. I'm a little nervous about these results. Had some uh, challenges? Hal Scion, Astrum Close GV Resident Code Holder. Official Quantum Interference Research Institute recommendation confirmed. Nice. Recommendation from Director General Elaine Cordia confirmed. Supervisor Aptitude Level A+. Nice. You are hereby officially approved as a special supervisor. All right, it's my first day on the job. Halcyon, congratulations on your appointment. Ah, Halcyon, nice. Please accept your bureau issued equipment. So I do want to point out this nice case here. The folks at my dearest actually sent me a very cool gift box uh, to promote this game with some intricate designed stickers and bath salts, and a t-shirt, and a bunch of other cool stuff. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and open this particular case. This is a little cooler, Ordinarily, I think. Supervisors are issued with the WIS-07 ring type firearm. Cool. That's this, I'm assuming. The bracelet model you will be provided with is designed specifically with variants in mind. The WIS-07A prototype is fitted with quantum interference ability suppressors. I did that. Attached to your right wrist, okay. The right bracelet is equipped with scanning functionality. Okay. Confirming functionality. Do the same thing with the left wrist. Confirming operational status. The left bracelet suppresses your interference abilities. Okay. Confirming functionality. Uh, Confirming operational status. Do I take the disc? There we go. Kind of cool looking. I don't know what it does yet. Let's see. I think we're going back in time. This. This is their memory from three years ago. I'm going through what they experienced all over again. A few days ago, ion particle concentration across the continent rose to critical levels. Ordinary humans can no longer venture beyond the dome without protective equipment. At the same time, an experiment on two variant humans was being in an attempt to expand the functionality of augmented dreaming. The residents of this city wish to know exactly what happened during that experiment. Elaine? Please bring the witness forward. I'm assuming I'm playing the role of a witness? The subject is in a state of extreme shock and has no memory of their life before the incident. Permission to make a statement on their behalf? Chief Supervisor Elaine Cordia. Permission granted. where the responsibility for the failure lies. The fault is with the variants themselves. Hal Sion, Maya Ginez. After being reformatted under Bureau supervision, the pair will undergo personality processing to combat their aggressive, impulsive tendencies. Supervisor, 
I presume you have no objections? I... I was there during the experiment in the capacity as an administration bureau supervisor. Responsibility for this incident doesn't lie with the variants. No. The only person to blame is Professor Rumford. So Elaine, I think, is also the director that just approved my supervisor role. So uh, three years have passed, and she's kind of risen through the ranks, it seems. Don't worry. You're now under the protection of the Administration Bureau. I won't let anyone use you in their experiments ever again. I promise. You can't remember anything that happened before the experiment, can you? Give me your hand. This world is a cruel place for you and the others. Ever since the catastrophe nine years ago, variant humans have been persecuted worldwide. People say it was their reckless behavior that caused the disaster. You know, everyone is terrified of you and your kind. Even here in the city, you can't let your guard down. I want you to become a supervisor. Prove that you can do something for the city. That way you'll be able to protect them all when the time comes. This feels nostalgic somehow. Memory diving lets me access past memories. What I saw just now, that was their memory. Supervisors can access the administration system using their badges. Authentication data must be reset. Please present your badge. There we go. User registration complete. Special Supervisor Hal Sion, Quantum Interference Research Institute. Administrative Class, Level 4 Retrodictor, in accordance with municipal regulations. Your abilities will be suppressed to Level 2. Ever since I was given this badge, all I've wanted is to become a supervisor. Grabbing an item and letting it go adds it to your inventory. Now it's in our inventory. Okay. been ordered to investigate the murder of Professor Albert Rumford. The investigation partner is Ash, who we just met doing, during the test. Report the Bureau when you complete each of the following tasks. Ascertain the time of death, discover the missing body, and identify the culprit. So we have a new task, investigation of the murder of the city's founder. Press Y to open the main menu. Uh, investigation log, maybe? Status, maybe? I don't know. I guess there's there's no me? investigation You're in yet. charge of the case? Of course I'm in charge of the case. I was there. I had that weird vision. Either way, I don't have time to waste. I need to get to the professor's house. So that's a third floor corridor. I'm assuming this is the way we need to go. Let's go. Take the elevator to the first floor. 
Head for the plaza and take the gondola. Okay. Oh, hey, Ash. Yo! I'm guessing you passed the aptitude test, right? But seriously, landing a murder case right after joining the bureau? You're on a roll, man. What? Just yesterday, we were talking about how there was no crime, and now he's excited that there was a crime. Looks like Lily's update is finished. She's got a new investigation support matrix installed. I'll bring her with me to the process. See you there, okay? All right, so we need to figure out... Okay, who's this guy? So am I in one of these dream sequences? Hey, you. How's the investigation going? All right, so I guess the elevator's in the other direction. Yeah, it looks that way. Two more of these we can talk to. But what's gonna happen to the city? Hey. He's got a thing for the director. I think we want to go to the atrium level. Sounds right. I think I dropped something in the bureau lobby. Can you do me a favor and pick it up? <laughs> so I guess, what's this? On patrol. Titan security measures are in place, that's fine. So it looks like we're going this way. Now what's over here? Number of simultaneous AD connections, and there's 69,968. That's a rise of 40,302, it looks like. I know I'm supposed to follow those, but I like to explore, and this is mildly open world, not really open world. Plant's been knocked over. Hi, security drone. Emergency warning issue. Please tether to the collector in accordance with municipal ordinance 15.3. Leaving your place of residence. I became a supervisor today. I've got permission to be out here. Emergency warning issued. Please tether to the collective. Your Kairos connection cannot be verified. Damn it. I need to show it some ID. So I need my badge. Synchronizing with Nebula database. Identification verified. Permission to leave your place of residence confirmed. Supervisor Halcyon inaugurated just five minutes ago. I am not the Jedi you're looking for. The Bureau welcomes you. Because I'm not a droid, get it? I don't know. Anyway, I like the clock up here. Here is your partner, Supervisor Ash Shepard's badge. He left his badge here. A few minutes ago. Please look after it, Supervisor Sion. I can't believe he'd leave behind something so important. Seriously. He must have been in a real hurry. Looks like I can access his memories. I really want to do this. Here we go. Jump into Ash. Who's that?
12 years really passed since then? I mean, hmm? Whoa there! Watch where you're going, okay? Where are you from? What's your name? What's with all the questions? What about your resident ID? Probably doesn't have one. Let me guess. You're one of those supervisors? Yeah, this is part of the job, so play along, would you? There's been an incident. We're on high alert. If you want me to play ball, you gotta show me your badge, Mr. So-called Supervisor. Sure. Uh, what the? Where'd my badge go? Hey, stop right there! Ah, uh, damn it! Whoops. So that airy person is a little bit suspicious. I like the seagulls. It sure is peaceful with no one around. I can hardly hear a thing. Still. I'm sure that things in AD haven't settled down yet. I guess I'll take a peek, see what's going on. I should be able to access AD with the visor I was issued. I don't know where this visor is I'm supposed to use. There's a specific portal we're supposed to go towards here. There's a research. There's the port area gate. What's this over here? I don't know what any of these other things are. I feel like it was the port area gate that it was asking us to go to. Probably gonna have to show our badge again. Off limits. Am I able to go this way? I'm supposed to take a gondola. Weather info. Do I have to use my badge here? Guess not. Okay. Freight operation was canceled. All right. Well. Back to the clock tower, by the way. So I thought that was the way we were supposed to go. Apparently not. So this building over here. Research Institute. I don't think that's the right answer either. The different language repeating is not. There's the gondola. That's where we're supposed to go. My bad. I didn't realize that uh, 
There are so many different areas we could go. Let's see what everyone's doing. So I guess we're going into AD now, even though I want to go. Let's see what everyone's doing. I don't want to see what everyone's doing. I want to take this gondola like I'm supposed to. status so we're good so far but I don't know how to turn on I don't know how to turn on the visor that they're asking us to turn on let's see what everyone's doing am I supposed to go somewhere in particular to do this oh maybe this Did not explain that. What you next? So we're gonna to talk to some of these residents. Crap. It's always a variant, right? Right. How about these folks? How do they know? Tell me more. <laughs> so because the dream is collective, they all saw that murder. It wasn't just me. I talked to those folks. Everyone tethered right now. It's like their shadows are on edge somehow. No one thought murder was even possible in the city. I mean, I was the same. The thought never crossed my mind. Dreams protect us here in Astrum Close. Bionic nanomachines called Kairos were introduced 30 years ago. Mental health of ordinary humans, for whom the world is no longer even safe. A system of collective mental tethering, augmented dreaming, that has erased crime from the city. After the nightfall catastrophe 12 years ago, particle contamination spread from the east. Even when the world outside was rocked by rebellion and slaughter, I heard the city was a crime-free oasis of calm. The city hasn't been this worked up since the experiment. It took place three years ago. Professor Rumford? I thought this person was dead. It seems I have surprised you with my appearance. I have taken the form of the professor when he first built this city. We forged and nurtured this place together. So, you're Eustace, the city's integrated AI? How? You are already aware of the task assigned to you, correct? We accept that this is a grave burden for a newly appointed supervisor. But with your abilities that let you read memories, you should have no trouble recovering the professor's body and identifying the culprit. I literally just became a supervisor. Why would you pick me? Does the Director General know about this? Hmm. Director General Elaine Cordia is currently under close surveillance uh oh as such she is unable to operate freely what why you'll find out soon enough when you start investigating the crime scene no kairos compatible resident could possibly be implicated 
Thanks to collective aid and counseling, the number of potential culprits is limited. Even so, everyone awake right now is a suspect. The trial starts in three days. Wow. How? It's up to you to solve this case. Find Albert's body. Find the perpetrator. There isn't a moment to lose before the city is engulfed in the impending nightmare. Could she really be responsible? It seems so hard to believe. Hmm. Let's go. Yeah, I was gonna do this earlier. But they wanted me to do the collective dream first. I was all on task, ready to go. In the completely wrong direction. I went to Portola instead of Gondola. Maybe I need to replay my memories. So I need to take this gondola. So let's welcome aboard. I don't really care for the eyes closing, eyes opening bits. Uh, and there's a lot of load screens in this game as well. Wow, there's a lot of eyes closing, eyes opening. I can hardly remember anything from before that trial. I guess this is over the city now. They found me outside the city. After that, I was brought up in the Institute shelter. I grew up without a family. When I got caught up in the nightfall catastrophe 12 years ago, I lost everyone, apparently. But since moving here, everyone at the shelter became just like family. Hearing about the professor's death this morning was a real shock, but it wasn't his death itself that shocked me. It was the fact that the crime even happened here in the city. I mean, this place is supposed to be peaceful. Professor Albert Rumford, the founder of this so-called paradise. People are wondering who killed him. Whoever did it, I'm not surprised in the slightest. That experiment three years ago left a stain on the city. Nobody even remembers. Some people still respect the professor. They think he actually cares about variants. But the Rumford I know is heartless. He treats us variants like cattle. All for the sake of his research. He's just a cold person. I'm assuming I'm now at the stop I need to get out at. All clear. Don't forget to take a look around AD, okay? Alright, so we are in the R&D residential complex area. So this is where we're supposed to go. Off limits. 
off limits, but you may enter. Right, here we go. So this is the room. Supervisor Sion, thank you for your diligence. The scan of the crime scene will be completed shortly. Where are Ash and Lily? Supervisor Shepard isn't here. It seems he was here earlier. He dropped something. I don't know why, but Ash seems more distracted than usual today. Another dropped set of items. Looks like I can access the past with this, too. Okay, let's see what happened. There's Lily. Professor. You again? What were you doing in there? Huh? Barry got a gun. Wait! Was Ash. But who is that girl with him? Your keeper Zeta is right here. Her name is called Lily. She is your bureau approved investigation assistant and personal care robot. Oh, she's still in her pod. I should wake her up. Where is Lily? Oh, there she is. Synchronizing. Apparently, no, you're denied that, Lily. I think you're getting things confused. She asked you to support me. Those two things are one and the same. They really aren't. Here we go. <laughs> Lily, where'd Ash go? I thought you came here together. So, we've now lost our partner, and we need to figure out the time of a crime, and the body, and all this other stuff that's missing. Investigation report for you. Good job, betas. Let me take a look. I see. I see. This report covers the incident, pal. I'll explain everything before we get started at the crime scene. The victim was the occupant of this house. Albert 
me knew that. Martha Simmons, an old friend of Rumford's. She was the one who discovered him. You know about Martha, don't you? She always used to look after you when you were little. I don't remember. You never know. You might remember something while you're taking a look around the place. Yeah. Let's talk about it that. It looks cause like of you death. died from external injuries between five and eight, but we can't pinpoint the exact time of death. Why is everything so unclear? There's something wrong with the Kairos nanomachines inside the professor's body. We had visual confirmation of the corpse, but the system is showing he's alive. His bio signals are being transmitted from inside the lab. It's coming from inside the house. So his body went missing. And his vitals are showing as all normal. This is weird. They need you to find the Kairos transmission in the lab. I see. We have no evidence to prove if the professor is alive or dead. The body disappeared after it was found. And then there's his Kairos. Are the readings saying he's still alive in the lab? So, I mean, it looks like we have to go this way, into the lab. So here we are in the lab. This is exactly what we saw earlier. Here's the reconstruction of the body. Yeah. Oh. A closer look. stab wound. Nothing about a murder weapon. So the culprit must have taken it with them. That makes sense. Is there more to see? Hmm. What could it be? Got that bulge in his pocket.
What's this? Scar on the back of his neck. Excuse me. log status has been updated. Your report will be sent to the Bureau. Good work, Hal. Keep it up. Thanks, Lily. So we got lots of different things I can investigate. Let's, uh, let's open this. What could it be? Small box displaying minerals. A key slot is shaped like a crescent moon. Okay. It's a collector's box. Pretty sure. Nothing underneath the desk. Yeah. Input detected. Initiating sleep mode. Administrator access is required to sleep. I see. Okay. I want this. I believe this is the key we need to open. This maybe? No, maybe not. What could it be? Alright, I know there was other stuff we could do. Look at the let's look at the blood. Let's take a look. Okay, let's look at this. W O H dash zero one. What's this? See the memory. I have nothing else to say. Please leave. It's weird seeing these floaty hands. It would almost have been better to interact myself in the memory. Time to take a break. No input detected. Initiating sleep mode. Administrator access is required to switch modes. WOH-01. Authentication complete. WOH-01. Administrator permission verified. Init uh, was it today he was supposed to visit? Huh. 
How long has it been since he brought Hound the plant here to the city? It's nine years by my count. There was something in that terminal relating to the Professor's Kairos. No idea. I'm fairly certain I know how we can get to it. No input detected. It's in sleep mode right now. You can switch modes using the Professor's cane, but to use the cane in the first place, we need the Professor. Mm. his actions in that moment of hesitation change the professor's actions right let's give this another shot all right let's try again w-o-h dash I have nothing else to say. Please leave. detected. Initiate administrator access is required. Alright, so here's our glowing case. W-O-H dash zero W-O-H dash zero one. Administrator permit Ah, uh, was it today? Here we go. To change WOH-01 administrator permission. If I go back now, I won't be able to see this information. What if the professor took a different course of action here? Would that alter the present? Yeah, I'm doing it. WOH-01 administrator permission. To change it to everyone. How long has it been since he brought how long? It's nine years by my count. Looks like I was able to interfere with the professor's path. WOH-01. Authentication complete. Beautiful. We're in. WOH-01. Administrator permission verified. Initializing system. Permission verified. Terminating program. I see. The professor died at 7.55. The appointment was supposed to be at 8.
All right, so we can review log data with the Y button. Okay, cool. So here we go. Discover evidence by combining factual items with relevant log data. If you go hold of the factual item, try different combinations. Okay. Medical center data, okay. Missing course, we don't have anything yet. Cylinder and lab was broken. It appears the plants have normal growth, causes damage. All right, so we're good there. figure out where the professor's body disappeared to in the end. Don't worry, mister. The Kairos data we found is more than enough. Send a report to the Bureau. Alright, here we go. Here. We finished our search. Let's head back to the hall. Bedroom. I feel like there might be something in the hall too. Ah, there we go. So we've got this, which should match. Oops. This item. There we go. You know about this? Obviously. Let's see what Fifi is. Sir, 
Professor, we haven't had lunch yet. Can we leave here? Of course. But what about the home? Aren't you going to look for any first? Oh. Martha gave me these sandwiches earlier. She said we gotta eat them right away. Whoa, look! It's Noel's favorite. We baited him out. <laughs> Play nice, ho. Come on. How about we all have lunch together? Doesn't seem like the professor was evil to me. Like, seems like he was like a father figure almost. This was Noel's. Has it been here the whole time? I'll bring it back for him. Did you see anything? Lily. You said that we spent a lot of time with the professor when we were kids, right? It's almost like the professor I saw in the memory and the professor from the trial are completely different people. Which one is the real Professor Rumford? Or did something change him? He used to be so kind. Or what could have happened? Lily, the professor. Yo, how's the search going? Anyway, I kind of went straight there to check things out. I ended up chasing this chick who was trying to flee the scene, and I lost track of time. Really? As if you were talking about Ash, I figured you were just goofing off again. Oh, Lily, you finish your update? I swear you've gotten even sassier. Mm, where are you and what are you doing? That's what I've been trying to tell you. I spotted this cute chick in town, and let's just say I'm pursuing an investigation. Mm hmm Um, is this your way of saying... You're trying to pick up girls? You're running around off the leash now and laying on your watch? No, no. You've got it all wrong. Teasing girls on the job? You're a gosh darn broke, mister! Listen, this is important work. I'm telling you. <sighs> I bet you're giving me such a look right now. If I'm going to get the cold shoulder, I'd rather try my luck with the ladies. Did you end up catching that person you mentioned? No, nah, they gave me the slip. They seem to know their way around the city, that's for sure. Anyway, how's everything going over there? Why don't we go over everything in person? Besides, there's something I need to ask you. Come quick, okay? I'll be waiting in front of the clock tower. someone is exactly how they used to be is kind of reassuring somehow. I'll try and gather as much information about the professor as I can. Wrong, Nothing. We better get going. Ash is waiting for us.
All right, I'm going to leave it here. We learned a little bit about this investigation. I'm not sure if it's even a murder investigation at this point. I'm not even sure if there was a crime. It's all a little suspicious. So this has been a look at Dyschronia Kronos Alternate. I hope you've enjoyed this video. This game is available this week on the Quest 2 platform. I'll be back with more content soon. Until next time, get out there and enjoy some VR for yourself. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.